Mr. Melvin Tan, That's right. Director of Cyclet Holdings Private Limited. Good yes. afternoon and thank you for this interview. Good afternoon to you as well. Yeah. Welcome here. Well, uh, Melvin, first of all, could you tell us a bit about Cyclet, what your company does, how old it is, and um, what are the special things that uh, you're about to embark on? Okay. We were established in 1943, so we've been around for about 65 years. We will be celebrating our anniversary this year, 65. Uh, we currently have uh, four business units. Okay. We have an area of uh, EPC for more in electrical works, where we build, uh, we, we provide engineering services in the electrical field for the pharmaceutical, the oil and gas business markets, for the uh, semiconductor markets, sectors. So with that business, it has grown tremendously. We also have uh, businesses in the maintenance and repair technical services um, area. So we provide mechanical, electrical, instrumentation control, repair and maintenance services uh, for the marine offshore as well as facility and plants uh, in Jurong Island and in this biomedical pub. Yeah. And um, on top of that, we have the other two businesses. One is in trading and the final one is in energy uh, solutions. So that would be a new area in which we have embarked on in the last five years. So we started off fairly early, and uh, right now we are reaping some of the fruits of that uh, early venture. What kind of trading uh, does your company engage in? Oh, trading is more in uh, industrial products. We do look at dehumidification systems. Um, they're basically the suppliers we source globally for products that will support the installation uh, servicing teams as well as the maintenance teams. It's a procurement function. Mostly. It's a procurement function. Okay. But yes. do you like sell things after that? We do. We we do trade it. We basically like master distributors for certain products. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the challenges uh, that the company has embarked on uh, lately. Okay. The uh, people are very concerned about two things right now. One is high energy costs. The other one is uh, global warming. That's right. And uh, I understand that you have push into these two areas in a big way. Mm. Can you tell us about some of the projects you have worked on and what are the solutions you're bringing to the markets? Okay. About five years ago, we identified that uh, there's a huge gap in the market. Uh, and our team, we, are, we, are deeply, uh, we deeply believe in this, in this concern of the environment. So the, the second E, that's the first E, the second E that we are concerned about is economics because uh, Practically every business is dollars and cents, your bottom line, as an overhead energy is always an overhead. So we tried to marry the two together uh, and that's why we came up with this energy solutions where our team basically looks at the various resources, uh, you know, optimizing energy resources, uh, energy resources in terms of you know, carbon fuels, natural gas, um, alternatives, you know, um, and recovering waste energy waste energy in the form of waste heat from either steam, where some plants do not, may not have, be able to optimize the steam very well, they, they have to release steam in the environment, or uh, it could be a lot of waste heat that they have to just discharge. We aim to recover this waste heat to make it something useful. And in an environment, you know, we're, in the, we're in the equator, and in this region, cooling is always necessary. So we develop technology. We work with technology partners in, uh, from overseas, from Japan and from, from China. And we, have, we are actually supplying systems to recovery, recover heat and converting it to cooling. Are you seeing a lot of companies in Singapore which have this problem? Yes. They it, waste uh, steam, they waste heat. Waste heat, waste heat, waste steam. I mean processing facilities, um, Jurong Island facilities, bio, the pharmaceutical, the biochemical. These are the people that do use a lot of waste heat. And the balancing of this need, you know, the demand and the supply is, is sometimes tough and there's a lot of waste. So what we do, we recover it. You know. So the demand is great. Uh, it has increased in the last two to three years. Challenging, it was challenging in the early years because a lot of people didn't, you know, they were... Didn't buy into this idea. They didn't buy into this idea. One, a lot of people felt that they were guinea pigs, although this has been established worldwide for many years. And uh, we're just trying to introduce it to the market. So in the last couple of years, yes. And are you, are you getting better reception these days? Oh, yes. We're getting much better reception. Yeah. Um, and, and can you demonstrate to your clients that before and after effects? Oh, yes. So like a, it's all monitored. It's all, it's, it's all monitored, recorded, and certified. Uh, we work with large facilities like, uh, I mean, they're all MNC brand names, uh, Pfizer, Sharing Plow currently. 
Uh, we, our first installation was for, was for a chocolate factory just down the road in Tuas, right? And they basically also did a full cogen trigen system. It's a mini one, uh, but there's, it's proven to have significant savings for them as a small facility. And um, I think that. What about the local companies? Obviously, it's easy to pitch the message uh, the, to MNCs. My first was a local company. Our oh. Chocolate is a local company. It's uh, not an MNC. It's not an MNC. Right. So that was our prime project, the first major project that we worked on, right. embarked upon. So, this five years uh, record that you have uh, built up, how many companies have bought into this idea of co gen, tri gen uh, okay. under your, your belt? Right now in Singapore, we. Not so many have started, but they're all fairly large uh, because a lot of people are looking at it from a larger perspective. So we're trying to bring it to a micro level for the customers. Uh, right now we have about about 13 chillers, 10, 13 chillers. So each chiller represents maybe one or plant. Uh, could be one, one or two systems per facility. So probably about six to seven facilities are operating with these uh, systems right now. So some are overseas, some are local. Now, you're not just doing this in Singapore, right? You're, no. You're, you spread your wings to, the, to uh, the region. Yes. Which are some of the countries you are operating in? Okay, currently we are looking into Malaysia's uh, market as well as the Vietnam, uh, Vietnam markets for this product. Okay. China, is there any scope for doing this in China? China is fairly challenging, so um, we, at this point in time, we are excluding it from our list, but we will be considering that market as well. Malaysia gives you pretty good volume? Uh, Malaysia would potentially, yes. And Vietnam? Vietnam, uh, we are just embarking on it right now. Right. But right. Singapore itself actually is it's a the big base. market for you? Yes. Uh, one of the considerations is always your energy cost, right? So that is our baseline, how we compare with how much they're paying. The whole range. Yeah. Now, let's go on to this concept of Trigen. Sure. What's the biggest project you've worked on so far? Currently, we're working with um, Sharing Plow and Tuas Power and TurboMac. These are the three companies um, for Sharing Plow. The end user is Sharing Plow. So the facility will be 1,600 R tons of cooling capacity. So we are providing the installation services for the turbines, the um, integration for the systems and uh, supply of the chillers, the heat recovering system. So we we engineered their solution for um, that tail end solution for them. Right. Solar applications. You mentioned earlier that you're tapping the sun for energy with some of your clients' place. That's right. Give us the details. What are those applications? Okay, we recently commissioned a facility for um, Pfizer. The, it's a solar air conditioning plant. It's not a very large one. It's running on 120 solar panels, providing about 40 R tons. That's about 7,000 square feet of offices providing cooling for the 7,000 square feet. Uh, basically, we are they are looking at carbon dioxide reduction, and uh, with this facility, they actually can reduce uh, CO2 emissions by of uh, 60 tons per year. That is equivalent to about 1,400 trees. You know, planting 1,400 trees per year. So, therefore, I, they're looking at it as a very environmentally friendly solution. 